Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Post fight thoughts on the Adrian Broner versus Mikey Garcia fight. Mikey Garcia wins this fight by unanimous decision. He's the new WBC Diamond Belt champion. What did I tell you guys? I, I told you that Adrian Broner was not going to win this fight against Mikey Garcia. It doesn't matter how focused he is during training, it doesn't matter how much weight he loses, he still ends up losing fights when he takes a step up. All right? Look, he came out looking okay. He was moving around a lot. But to be honest with you, I gave Broner maybe one or two rounds in that fight. All right? He wasn't active. He was throwing one punch at a time. He was barely throwing any combinations. You know, the second half of the fight, he maybe woke up around the ninth. I say around the ninth or tenth round. He had a few decent little moments. But he never pressed the action. His jab, just jab, pull back. High guard, jab, pull back, high guard. Why are you not doubling up on the jab? Why are you not throwing punches? Why are you not throwing combinations? He like, okay, so Mikey Garcia threw about 900 plus punches that fight, I believe, right? It was 800, 900 punches and Broner 400, right? He got outlanded by Garcia easily. I, I just don't, look, he had, he had Mikey Garcia in trouble at points during the fight. Like the 12th round, uh, the 10th and the 12th round, he hurt him near the end of the rounds, but he never pressed the action. I think Adrian Broner's afraid to get knocked out, personally. He was very nervous and very twitchy in the first, very flinchy in the first few rounds. He was getting tagged with some shit, man. You know, after the fight was over with, you know, they asked, and we're going to get into what Mikey Garcia said too, because he sounded a little afraid of somebody. And we're going to bring it up a little later. But, you know, when Adrian Broner gets interviewed, he's talking about some, you know, he took a loss. And, you know, he, he would he would like a rematch in California. If he fights tomorrow, people still going to come out to see him? Nah, dog. You know what? Well, you got three losses. You about to be a gatekeeper. He can't beat an A-level fighter. I told y'all he wasn't going to outbox Mikey Garcia. I told y'all, and I would have preferred to see Adrian Broner win this fight, but he didn't. He don't got it. He don't got it in him to to be a level fighters, man. He don't win big fights. He's a B fighter, B plus level fighter for life. Nothing's gonna change that. And I'm listening to his corner, you know, during the rounds, and and all I hear from Matt Stafford is, "Oh, you got to man up." Oh, you the bigger man. Man up. What you doing, Broner? They're not giving him any instructions at all. None. He should have started that body attack a little earlier. Because he had the ability to hurt Mikey Garcia. He had the ability to hurt him. I saw it on several different occasions where he hurt him. But he didn't press the action, man. Because he's not throwing combination punches. It's just... It's sad, dude. It's real sad. And for the record... They asked Mikey Garcia who he wants to fight next. He said he'd go down to 135 for a big fight, stay at 140, move up to 147, which is something he don't want to do is move up to 147 because there's killers up there. But since you brought that out to light, we can start talking about you fighting Keith Thurman, Errol Spence, Sean Porter. Let's see you take those fights. If he want to move up to 147. And then he said, oh, at 140, he then Jimmy Lynn Jr. said, look, there's fighters that want to fight you. Lomachenko, Terrence Crawford. What did Mikey Garcia say? Oh, I'm down to fight anybody. They can come fight me on Showtime. You know what that means. You know that means he don't want no smoke with Terrence Crawford. And it sounds like he don't want to fight Lomachenko either. He want to stay on Showtime. He going to stay at 135, though. Mikey's going to definitely stay at 135 because if he stays at 140, they're going to say he's ducking Terrence Crawford. They're going to say that he don't want to negotiate with Bob Arum. At least if he's at 135, he might be able to fight Robert Easton Jr., right? Lomachenko, I'm sure, would move up to 135 to fight Mikey Garcia, but he fights on HBO. And by making that statement, it sounds like you don't want to fight any HBO fighters. So you stay on Showtime, and you're not going to move up to 147. That's not going to happen. But since you want to say that, I definitely entertain that. And let's see you move up to 147. I'm not upset. I picked Mikey Garcia to win this fight. 
And I hope y'all didn't put any money on Adrian Broner. I told y'all. I'm mad. I was upset. I'm, I'm mad that I was right in my prediction because I didn't want Mikey Garcia to win. Not a fan. Not a fan of Mikey Garcia's. So, you guys let me know what you thought of the fight. Uh, Adrian Broner's gatekeeper status. I'm going to do a couple more videos tonight. And, yeah, like, real talk. Just let me know what y'all thought of the fight. I mean, there were a few people that said that Broner was going to knock Mikey Garcia. I knew that wasn't the case, man. And if you even go back and listen to the instructions that they were given, Mikey Garcia, his bro was giving him good instructions. And he was executing the plan. He was doing what he needed to do to win the fight. And again, I'm listening to the instructions they're giving Broner in his corner. And they're just yelling and screaming. They're not saying anything. He needs to change his train. He needs to change his trainer. I, and I have no there's no doubt that Adrian Broner was focused for this fight. The weight was not a problem. It's just he's not that good. Adrian Broner is not that good of a fighter. He's not that good of a fighter. And you know what's going to happen? Adrian Broner is going to fight two, three more BC level fighters. And then he might get another step up fight. And Mark, and listen to what I'm telling you right now. His next step up fight, he's going to get knocked out. He will get knocked out in his next step up fight. And he's done. Now he's still ranked by the WBC at 147. He's like number four in line for the WBC championship. He's ranked. Like I said, two or three more BC level fighters. And then he's going to take another step up fight. And he's going to get knocked out. And that's going to be it for Adrian Broner. And that's if he decides to continue boxing. As far as Mikey Garcia is concerned, he's going to duck Terrence Crawford. He's going to duck Lomachenko since he only wants to fight on Showtime. And Mikey Garcia, well, y'all let me know if Mikey Garcia is the A-side of Terrence Crawford and Lomachenko right now. After beating Broner. But he's not fighting at 147. I highly doubt he fights at 140. He's going back to 135. He'll fight Robert Easter Jr. And that's it, man. I don't know, I don't know what else to say about Mikey Garcia, Adrian Broner. Let me know what you guys thought of the fight. The scores were perfect. Because like I said, I had Broner winning maybe one or two rounds. The scores were perfect. Oh, man. I really hope y'all didn't bet y'all money on Adrian Broner. I told y'all, man. I told y'all he wasn't about to win this fight. Mikey outboxed him. He's a better boxer. He's a better boxer than Adrian Broner. A harder puncher. He's just overall a better fighter than Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner is too worried about getting knocked out. Too worried about getting knocked out and embarrassed. That he doesn't want to throw punches. Troy, what's that dude's name? Troy. Troy King. You you looking shaky on your predictions. You knew Adrian Broner wasn't going to win that, that fight. Y'all got the same birthday and shit. Man, you don't know shit about boxing. Hitman Boxing. I know about boxing because I predicted this shit. Free Travis Gotti. They deleted his channel. That's some bullshit. Go follow Travis Gotti on Travis Gotti TV. Hitman Boxing. I know this is the longest outro ever. But deal with that shit. Hitman Boxing. Please say the Hitman. Please say the Boxing. I'm out. Steady ignoring greatness Word. A call bearer what you need when I come undertake it This hostile take over by the chill over I got the blueprints, I really do this So move on over Stay in your lane, nigga, stay in your lane You steady running at the guns But fucking suck at the game Ain't it a shame? It really is My words invoke fear I teach you lessons that I had you breaking down in tears Call me Joe Clark with a baseball bat Chaining up the doors and spelling all these niggas from rap Cause they kill your brain cells, son How don't you see it? They steady brainwashing you And they're repeating, but tis the season for chill, rage. 
I bring about change. But not Obama, cause this nation I will never claim. I got my sights aimed at the top spot on the chop block.